We are here, we are here, we are here. What is an amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up L O O M USD. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action, candle, last candle mark is a doji. So we have to wait for the next candle to engulf the doji to push this market up or push this market down. If that doesn't happen, the market's going to be consolidating. We'll be consolidating sideways in that area. Also, second with the le- second last candle, <coughs> excuse me. We also received two spikes down to that bottom. So market spike down. It, it could, we don't know if it spike down came to retest and push down further. We don't know if it's the first leg, second leg, or is it did it push down to the third, or is it coming back out of the third to the fourth? We'll identify that as we walk down further and we can see that price action started off here. So basically what the market did was push down. So it broke some type of midpoint, broke the midpoint, pushed down, came back to return with a retest and it looked like it could have pushed down from that um, third leg down to the bottom. Maybe, maybe not. Not 100% sure yet until we go down further. So price action high is high. Price action low is slow. But we, we may cross this out the highest high. This may be the highest high in this area here. This may just be a push up. So we're going to identify maybe a push down from somewhere. But we identify as coming down. And now the midpoint. We're going to take the midpoint from high and the low. Let's say the midpoint of the SR line. Just to begin, I'm not too sure about this one, but just in case it does start. So headed down to the weekly time frame. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, but I was right. So on the weekly time frame, it was a spike up. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't expect this to be the highest high. So we could get rid of this SR line that we created. We just working with highest high, midpoint, low. So let's head over the price action. See what's happening in the market. Price action candle is a bullish inverted hammer. So what the market did was. Um, Stay at price. Price action did engulf the second to last candle and some of the third to last candle. Definitely, it, it closed out with the bodies of those candles, but not the wick. You can see price action is trying to break this wick in this area here of that third to last. I wouldn't say wick body of that third to last candle right in this area. So it's trying to see if we, we may receive some type of break and retest as we go down further. If not, that mark is headed to a retest to the um, resistance. And it's going to push down. Okay, so let's draw a few things out. So starting from the beginning, market spiked up once, came back down, consolidated sideways in that area. So basically market up and down, up and down. It broke the midpoint. Could We may have a retest in that area with this area here, but the market pushed again, but it definitely did come back to a retest with these candles as we see with the spike up one, two, and three. Um, and then the market broke and it pushed back up. So at the bottom here is probably a double bottom and a retest. And we're going to see if the market's pushing up. So market could be on a fourth leg, waiting for that breakout for a retest and push up further. On the lower time frame, we see, we're see looking for a breakout and a retest. But on this structure, on the, on the weekly time frame, it probably just, if it does shoot up beyond um, the green SR line where it's trying to break, then it can just be bullish candles going up in green. So we have to wait to market identify itself for this, us to figure out what's going to happen. Headed to the daily time frame to see what's going on. Okay, so market market okay, the price action that full area over here is in, in a range of consolidation. In a range of consolidation, so. We checked out the areas of resistance that tag, and that's why I put my SR line here. We can see how as many times it spiked. So smart market spike. It, it actually came from somewhere, so this could be a spike too. So uh, we have one spike, two spikes, three spikes, four spikes. So that's a quadruple top at the bottom. So if that market doesn't push them four pushes out, and that market is at a retest, it can drop down further. Okay. Now if the market's going to be respected and push up, we can sit, clearly see. A structure coming from that double bottom in this area here. Maybe a, so we got that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg 
retest market pushed up once retest and the market is still on that retest so it hasn't broke out for that second push but it can push up another two three more times before losing exhaustion it didn't even start the second push so it can push up another three times but pay attention to these areas of resistance these major areas with these spikes is showing that the market pushed all the way up multiple times once twice three times and four times in that area too but a little further over and the market couldn't break out so it lost momentum it came right back down it did that a lot so this could be a strong area of resistance for that market not to break and drop straight down but we'll, we'll wait for the market to identify itself for us to take that structure price action second last candles of dojis so market's working its way into consolidation i'm going to put a little bit of a line underneath the sr line to show that support so we're going to see market bounce up and down we could probably spike the top as well in that resistance so we can see a tight uh, consolidation. Headed down to the four hour time frame to see what's going on. Okay, so what do we have going on? Price action. So if that market's gonna push down from this area here for that decline, we're looking for that. We can clearly see that we do have that first leg market came down for that second, push back up for that third, come down for that fourth. So this is the first push. This is the second push. So it'll be a double top. Market can drop or is a single top and a retest. If some, if it if it retests more in this area, then it'll be a set a single top. And then let's say if it pushes up another two times, it'll be a single top, three retests, and the market drop down. Okay, so that means all together, about four pushes to that top and a high. If that did not happen, we are currently looking at um, a double top. Okay, so we still gotta wait for price to break this area of support. Now we look at price action, bearish candles. Um, hammers side by side, so it's, it's, it's actually tagging the support area in, it's having a hard time breaking. We're going to see that as we walk down further. So we can see the spike down with the third on a three hour time frame, headed down to the two. Now we see a double press, double spike down with the um, price action, second last candle. Price action candle is a doji, so the market could be consolidating a, a little more tired than what it is, and so we're waiting for a breakout. Okay, so we're waiting for a breakout candle. It's going to push this market out for the close out up, or it's going to push that market down, or it's going to take more than one candle to do that. So we just got to wait for the market to do what it do so we can see that consolidation that the market is in. So we wait for that market to break up down, or we just continue cons consolidating sideways. Headed down to the 45 minute time frame. So what's happening here? The market is actually just what it did was break and retest and broke. Came back to retest. We got to probably wait for another four candles to form to see that market is still pushing be pushing up we're going to see if that market's going to break this area here okay for the next can do so we should be looking for a break and retest for that market to shoot up if not the market's going to do a break retest and we look at the end look for the pattern and the market comes down okay that's so what that can happen on the 45 headed down to the 30 let's take a look at what's going on 45 30 is identifying the same thing but on the 30 minute time frame Price actually a long spike up to the top. So market spiked that area and, and just sitting here. So we don't know if that market's going to drop back down. That's a pretty long wick. So you got to be cautious of that. Um, as we head down the time frame, 15 minutes now, the candles are growing on the 15 minutes time frames. It's having a hard, hard time. As we can see, it's declining a little bit, having a hard time to reach that resistance with the body. So look for that break and retest. I, we may, we're not going to be able to see that on that time frame as we walk down further because price is having a hard time breaking this area here. Headed down to the five minute. Let's take a look at what's going on. Now we can see the break on the five minute. Okay, but price action having a hard time breaking the second the last candle wick, but it did break the second last candle body. But you can see that market's already in that range area, so we may want to wait for more candles to form to see what's really going on because it entered the, the range of that three minute time frame. Headed down to the one. Okay, so it's retesting. So what the market did was break, retest, and it's inclined and working its way up with so far two pushes to that top of resistance. Okay, guys, very important information. Please study and review Forex pattern cheat sheet. Click on images. Please study breakout retest strategy as well. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. L-O-O-M-U-S-D Crypto.